My name is Duncan Ridgely. I'm 54 years old. I'm from London. I'm living in Maramurish, and, uh, and I'm a photographer. OK, let's go. So I was uh, born in England, in Wolverhampton. 14 years ago, me and my wife and my three young kids left England. We wanted to buy some land in Romania for the reason that all Romanians don't like, and that's because I do tourism and I thought that Transylvania would be a great thing to market to Western people because Transylvania is a massive brand. I was always fascinated to come and see what is Transylvania really like. And what was interesting for me is it, it exceeded my expectations. But um, the thing is down there, it was nice, um, but we didn't really feel this was the, the real Romania. So I said to everyone, where is the real Romania? Where is the, the heart, the culture? And everyone there is Maramores. It's like, where is Maramores? It's like, get the map of Romania, put the pin in, and that's where it is. It was like, OK. So we went there for a weekend, and we just fell in love with the place. We're like, this is what we're looking for. Is Romania the last place I'm going to live? Well, yeah, never say never. So I have no idea. For me now, Romania is great. I love it. Uh, it's a great country. I think uh, the secret police were actually checking on me because they were like, why is the crazy foreigner coming to Sat Brev? Well, he must be a spy or something. Everyone in London dreams of having a, a hectare of land with a beautiful wooden house and a view and a stream. It's what I dreamt of, working in London. Uh, the last time I cooked this was about... Well, the last time I was in England was about 15 years ago. So why did I come to Game of Chefs? Um, so, yeah, I'll be honest, Romanian food, it's very similar to old-fashioned English food. The thing is, in England, food changed. The most commonest dish in England now is, is an Indian curry. Yes, I thought, yeah, why not? Let's go on here and show people how to cook a real Indian curry that you would get in a curry house in England. So I mix all the spices together earlier. So there's ginger, there's garlic, there's garam masala, there's cumin, there's, there's all kinds of stuff in here. And I'll mix it in now. And this is where the real flavor kicks in. Coming on the show tonight, I was sort of thinking as I was driving, it's like, why am I doing this? And then it's like, well, why not? I'm not a chef. But I'm, a, I'm an adventurer. I live in Maramores. I, I do things differently. I'm not the normal nine to five guy. And so, like, to me, this is a challenge. Uh, I say, I haven't cooked this for a long time. It's a un peu complicat, but uh, I say, I, I enjoy a challenge. So, let's see what we can do. Nu vreau soare, nu vreau luna, vreau doar papa foarte bună. Nu vreau să mă. Bracin stele, vreau mâncare. Vreau mâncare de trei stele? Da. Nah. Are you care? <laughs> the aliens are outside, deciding whether they want to eat me. Alive. <laughs> mama, de aici miroase... Mama, mama, mama. Miroase da, mâncărică. Da, bă, da. Ce mâncărică, mă? Ia uite. Bă, dar nu m-ați lăsat că mirosea, bă. Asta e pui de la fica masala? Sau nu se pare mie? Indian food. Da, mă, da. Indian style. Știți care este mâncarea tradițională în Londra? Pum. Chicken masala. Chicken tikka masala. Exact, bă. Da, mă. <laughs> Știm. Era interesant dacă făcea papadam aici, era... Yeah, I didn't have time to do that. Only picant, let's share. Da, loc. Ce un pic cam acrișo. Cred că a scăpat cam multe pasă de tomate pe aici, ha? Și e puiul marinat într-un anumit fel care nu este foarte prietenos, știi? I didn't have 48 hours to marinate. Bă, nu mi-a fi zrăutăcioși. Nu sunt răutăcioși. Nu, am mai mâncat. Se poate adapta la o oră. Și asta e adevărat. Bă, e hot in here. După gust, nu este indian. Dar ce e, mă? E prea cu minte să fie indian. A pus un ardei, uite, poate... Ți-a dat-o, mă, separat? Da, poate, na. A zis că nu mâncăm foarte, uite. Aș fi foarte dezamăgit să intre un indian. Nu toți indienii știu să-și dătească. Stai puțin. Că nu știai pe asta, nu toți indienii sunt indieni. Mai sunt și englezi printre ei? Mie îmi place foarte mult mâncarea indiană. E cam departe de cu ce sunt eu învățat. Bă, suntem Știi? departe, într-adevăr, de India. Că și asta e adevărat. How long does it take to make a decision? Băi, cred că l-a păcălit pasta de tomate. Nice, ho. Bună seara! Nu este indian! Bună seara! Să trăiți! Bună seara! Eu vorbesc puțin român. 
Eu mara mureșan. Opa. Mara Mureșan, ce vorbești puțin în română. Da, e bine. da, de so, unde te cheamă? As I could hear you the English uh, curry. Yeah, so I'm from England. I'm from London. Ah, London. ok. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cum te cheamă? Yeah. Uh, so my name is Duncan. 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 Yeah. McLeod. Duncan McLeod from the clan McLeod. That's the one. Who are you? Okay. So who am I? Uh, I was a paparazzi in London. And, paparazzi? Uh, yeah, so don't have any affairs. If you do, don't let me know, okay? Uh, so I was a papar paparazzi. Paparazzi? Paparazzi, yeah. So, you know, when you're 18, you're a bit crazy, you don't know what to do with life, you have, uh, you have this crazy idea. So I got my camera, there was this princess called Diana, and uh, off we went. And, uh, Diana? Yeah. So the thing is, at the time, you don't realize that you could be a terrorist and be shot at any time. You're 18, you're just like, yeah, yeah right. let's go and do it. And Diana, did, did you yeah. make paparazzi or...? Yeah, I mean, she loved it. Yeah. On the motorbikes and everything. With the motorbikes? Yeah, yeah. If I remember right, the day when uh, Diana died, was somebody with uh, the bike? Nobody knows. I was very close to it. At the end of the day, everyone in the business, nobody knows. Nobody knows. Nobody knows. But you I mean, didn't went there. I was not there, luckily. You know, I was not in Paris. No. No, okay. so I had nothing to do with it. I'm looking now. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's me. Yeah. It's you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh-huh, you are very close. Yeah. But what's dangerous? I think I say, we were a little bit naive at the time. We didn't quite realize how dangerous it was what we were doing. Uh, I mean, you were stalking people that were terrorist targets. And you were coming out of nowhere and... But how many years you, you do this? Uh, about 15. About 15, 15 years. years? Yeah. And I slowly moved into magazines and more yeah, different kinds of photography. The paparazzi yeah. make money? Yeah, then. Yeah, now it's a lot harder. Why? Everyone is a paparazzi, everyone has a phone now. Yeah. Yeah. But then it was more, it was, it was harder. How much you take for one picture? It the all nice depends. One, uh... This is the question everyone asks. A good, of picture, a good picture could be 150,000 sterling then, what? which was really? quite a lot. Yeah, but that, yeah, that was the top one. A normal good picture, a front page would be seven, eight thousand, but you would work for months on that. Yeah, you could spend you three months working on a story and then find it wasn't true. Yeah, so yeah, the rumor, or whatever. Yeah, so yeah. you had the swings and round, and sometimes you get lucky. Okay, the picture with uh, Lady D. How much you uh, you take for that one? I think the story because uh, we caught her out when she was somewhere where she shouldn't have been. I think we made about 10,000 from that story that night. 10,000? Yeah. Wow. At that time, 10,000. Wow. At that time, yeah, it was good. You could buy a car, you could buy a house, you could yeah. buy an apartment in London then. Yeah. You can't now. Did you ever feel guilty? It's like here, you have a, an area called Dorobans, so you have Heather's Throw. If someone goes there and is photographed by a paparazzi and they're with the wrong woman, well, why'd you go there? Go somewhere where they don't go for a start. That's you know, true. Do you know what I mean? Don't go to the most famous nightclub in London with the girlfriend and go, oh! So I didn't feel guilty doing that. Okay. Because, That's true. That's you know a mean? good point do of view. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. But so, you are a big paparazzo in London. Was, yeah. It was? Yeah. How come did you choose Romania? You're yeah. not going to like it. Tell me, please. So when I was 13, 14, I used to sit up and watch TV, Late at night with my dad, and we used to watch Dracula movies. That's nice. Really? So for me, the word Transylvania. Wow. Yeah, but you say you, you go in Maramure. And I went to Maramure the first time in 2007. Okay. And I, I felt like I was in a movie. And you yeah, they're literally La Fur, you know, cutting the hay. And you're like, yeah. where's the TV crew? Where's the. This is real? And I was just blown away. I just, I just fell in love with the place. And what do you do for a living there? Uh, I have a small hotel. You have a small and hotel? And I work online, so I do jumati jumati. So you work online what? Uh, I do, uh, because of my past, I work... I'm the good guy with fake news. So big corporations, they get fake news about stuff that's not true, so I come in and I help them and... Don't do Now you are the course, good guy. We help, yeah, we help them to now deal are, with... You, now you are the good guy. You are killing the fake news. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Duncan, do you plan to stay here all your life or...? It's just oh, a... Stu. Life's a journey, oh, not a destination, all that, do you know what I mean? It's like, I love Romania. It's a very mm -hmm. underrated country, mainly by Romanians. You are the biggest, biggest critics of your own country. 
oh, what a minute, more, oh, oh, and it's like you're comparing it to what? What exactly are you comparing your standards to? Russia. Yeah? Yeah. Actually, it's a no. beautiful country, you're beautiful people. It's great, yeah, everything's going well, and that's the problem. You have, you have nothing too much to moan about at the moment. It's actually going okay, you know? <laughs> <laughs> and what are you doing to our show? Why did I come here? Because I can't get these ingredients anywhere in Maramores. So when I heard about this show, I thought, fantastic, okay, someone go. is going to finally <laughs> give me some garam masala. <laughs> no credit. Because I just, I go in the shop, I don't even know how to pronounce paprika yet, pao or whatever. <laughs> so to get these ingredients, I just never saw you the You buy it from England, you put them there. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. boya. Yeah. I'm interested to see what you thought about it. I did not put the full yeah, spice in it. Yeah, I did it the Romanian level. 